Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Suresh. You are watching Erola Suresh YouTube channel. Friends, now let's talk about theories of evolution in this session. And before that, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel and press on bell icon. Then you will get all the notifications when I upload the video. Okay, thank you. Let's move to the topic. Theories of evolution. In the last session, we have discussed the theory of evolution, Lamarckism. But now in this session, we are going to have a discussion on the theory of evolution proposed by Charles Darwin, that is Darwinism. Darwinism, it was an ideology of Charles Darwin. It was proposed by Charles Darwin. And he proposed theory of natural selection regarding the evolution. So, the experiments and the researches conducted by Charles Darwin have brought revolutionary changes in evolution. He provided lot of information regarding the evolution. A natural selection theory has influenced evolution a lot. So, Charles Darwin was treated as father of evolution. And before going to know about natural selection theory, let's try to understand how did Charles Darwin work for evolution and what he did for evolution and what were the researches and experiments conducted by Charles Darwin. Let's discuss all these things clearly. Charles Darwin is also known as father of evolution and he was an England scientist and Charles Darwin was very much interested in observing nature especially plants and animals from his childhood. When he was 22 years old he went for a world tour in world survey ship HMS Beagle. He went for five years just he visited so many places throughout the world and he gathered lot of information regarding flora and fauna of different species. Flora means plants and fauna means animals. So wherever he went, he collected lot of information. As part of his journey, he visited Galapagos Islands also. In Galapagos Islands, he observed some special kind of birds, they are finch birds. And he noticed that all the finch birds, they have variations in their beaks. Their beaks are not same. Their beaks are different from that of each other. So, he revealed that based on the food habits, finch birds have different kinds of beaks. Like that he visited so many places and he collected a lot of information he wrote in a book. And he read so many books and collected valuable information. And he was very much influenced by two books especially. They were Principles of Geology written by Charles Lyell and the essay on the Principles of Population from this Malthus or Population Theory that was written by Malthus. Here in Principles of Geology, Charles Lyell says that the changes in organisms takes place at uniform rate. So the changes occur at uniform rate in the organisms. Though Darwin collected all the valuable information from the book Principles of Geology, he did not accept the idea of Charles Lyell in that issue. In which issue? He told that changes in organisms takes place at uniform rate. But Darwin rejected that idea. Darwin believed that changes are not uniform in organisms smaller changes in organisms leads to bigger changes that is what the ideology of charles darwin and in malthus theory or in population theory malthus says that all the changes in the organisms are not same not uniform some are slower changes some are faster changes and malthus also expresses that the population of organism increases in geometrical progression whereas the food material for the population increases in arithmetic progression. Based on that statement we can understand that and he told that population increases very speed but food material for population increases somewhat slow. So based on that he told that some changes occur speed, some changes occur slow. Like that he collected lot of information from these two books and finally he proposed a theory, he came with a theory regarding evolution. That theory was natural selection theory. This is what very crucial time in our topic. What is natural selection theory? What is mean by natural selection? Natural selection means nature itself selects stronger organisms and it perish or it eliminates weaker organisms from the surroundings. This is what natural selection theory. So, Charles Darwin says that nature itself selects stronger organisms or the organisms having useful variations are selected by nature and the organisms not having useful variations are eliminated by nature. So they perish there only, they are killed there only and the organisms are having useful variations 
they pass on their characters to next generation so in every generation stronger characters are passed and from that organisms again more stronger organisms get selected and any weaker organism is there that weaker organisms get eliminated from generation to generation in every generation stronger characters are passed on to the next generation and finally all these changes all these useful variations leads to the formation of new species or new organism that leads to the process of evolution that is known as macro evolution as part of macro evolution new organisms are formed this is what the ideology of charles darwin he wrote how new organisms are formed in his book origin of species okay now let's try to understand the theory more clearly by these three terms natural selection theory can be understood very clearly by these three terms one is reproduction and struggle for existence and survival of the fittest first one reproduction reproduction is the characteristic feature of every organism the primary motto of every organism is to survive and to protect its species to extend to continue its species is the primary motto of all the organisms so all the organisms in the surroundings they produce new babies by the process of reproduction because to continue its species okay so reproduction completed in reproduction new babies are produced second one struggle for existence what is struggle for existence the babies produced by the process of reproduction they face competition with each other for a different purposes for which purposes they, they face competition for food and for shelter and for protection like that for a different reasons they compete with each other they not only compete with each other they compete with other organisms in the surroundings and they compete with environmental factors also why do they compete they compete for their survival so the competition among the organisms for their survival that is known as struggle for existence what happens in this struggle in this struggle the organisms having useful variations they survive and the organisms are having unuseful variations they die this is what survival of the fittest the organisms are known as fittest organisms they are fit for survival so that the character is called survival of the fittest and remaining organisms die so this is survival of the fittest and what happens in this process here stronger organisms survive and these stronger organisms pass on their characters to next generation in next generation also same situation same scene is repeated in that generation also stronger organisms survive weaker organisms get eliminated and they too pass on their characters to next generation like this after so many generations due to the result of smaller changes and uh, very larger changes takes place in organisms that is macro evolution then that leads to the formation of new organisms or new species this is what original evolution according to charles darwin so charles darwin believes that evolution occurs as a result of smaller changes in every generation they are selected by nature that is what natural selection theory now let's try to understand with a example for example in a forest some rabbits are living the rabbits produce new babies by the process of reproduction okay first one reproduction and the baby rabbits produced by reproduction they compete with each other for a different purposes and they compete with other animals also they compete with environmental factors also this competition is called struggle for existence in this competition what happens if suddenly any predator comes any lion or tiger comes they simply tries to hunt that rabbits rabbits runs away so in this process the rabbit which can runs fast that can be escaped and the rabbit which can run somewhat slower than others that can be caught by this predator so what happened weaker rabbit weaker rabbit means the rabbit which can run slow so the character of running slow is unuseful variation that is eliminated that was killed by the predator and the useful character that is running fast that character gets selected by nature and that rabbit can survive now that rabbit produce the new babies in next generation it passes on its character to next generation in next generation also same thing is repeated and finally leads to the formation of rabbits with highly developed characters so this is what natural selection theory proposed by charles darwin the same idea of natural selection was also proposed by alfred russel wallace he too believed that natural selection itself leads to formation of new species so this is natural selection theory it influenced a lot and it explained the process of evolution very clearly 
because of this theory he was also known as father of evolution okay thank you for watching